Welcome to our instructional video on performing a Z-plasty. These are commonly performed to lengthen a scar to reduce tension on the skin and for reorientation to improve cosmesis. This diagram highlights the basic principles for performing a Z-plasty. The vertical black line represents the original incision or scar. The red lines represent the additional incisions that are made. First, the original scar is excised, then two additional cuts are made either 30, 45 or 60 degrees from the original incision. These will determine how long the new scar will be. The final position and orientation is shown in the second part of the diagram. Here you can see the two limbs that extend from the central line which is the original scar. Three cuts are originally made and then flaps elevated as shown. Wide undermining must be performed circumferentially around the wound to allow adequate mobilization and reorientation of the scar. A suture is placed as shown here in the line of maximal tension. We use interrupted sutures. Some surgeons use an absorbable suture and others tend to use a non-absorbable suture. These have their own relative benefits and drawbacks. The tip of one flap is anchored to the corner of the opposite side. The same is then performed in the opposite direction. When this is complete, the scar has now been reorientated from a vertical position to a horizontal position. Additional interrupted sutures are then placed using the principles of halves as shown here. and then again here. Additional sutures would then be placed along the incision lines to help close the wound appropriately. In this video we have only placed some anchoring sutures as a guide. Here you can see the final position of the skin flaps as they are now reorientated. Thank you very much for watching.